Hey guys, and welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out Proton VPN for 2023, letting you know my opinions on this one in the future. Should you be buying this one or not? Now, guys, just as always here on the channel, this is an unsponsored review, which means the Proton VPN company is not paying me to make this review, which is probably not the case for a lot of reviews on YouTube. Um, VPN reviews can be very controversial because a lot of them on YouTube lately are just paid voice actors, and that's never been what we're doing here on the channel. So this review will be uh, include criticism, and that'll be good for you guys. Help you decide if you should buy it or not. That said, and I, I am an affiliate for Proton as well as pretty much every other VPN. So if you do decide you like what I have to say about the product, I'll be putting a link in the description and pinned comment down below, as well as you using that link should you be able to give you the best current uh, deal going on. So guys, with that said, let's get on to this objective review and my thoughts about Proton in 2023. It's an interesting VPN because it's not always been a VPN I liked a ton in the past. Um, but that said, over the last couple of years, I think it's really gone a lot better. It's one of those VPNs that was newer, so it was com competing against older products. But now, uh, although I do think they still have some work to do, especially with some of those things to catch up with other VPNs, they do do some things really, really well. And we'll be t talking about that in this video. So guys, first of all, with the pricing, um, it's in euros right now. We could put it to USD. Um, and there we go. So basically you could pay around $120, $120 for two years, around $72 for one year, and around $10 for one month. Um, so it's not the cheapest VPN. Um, we do give it a point for the one month plan being just under $10, um, but it doesn't have an affordable six month plan. And the one year plan is slightly above our asking price. The two year plan, we like to see around $100 usually, so it's also a little expensive there. And we don't see a three year plan, which does kind of suck. Um, that said, Proton does have 10 plus simultaneous connections, I do believe, and you can see that right here. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, also with Proton, unlike some other VPNs like Nord and Surfshark and some of the other bigger VPNs out there that do increase the price after the first term, if you buy two years of Proton VPN, it will also be two years at the same price after that. So that's something we like to see in terms of consumer transparency. Um, there's no price increases, so that's really nice. One thing we would like to see with Proton is having a promo code option around five to 10% extra off for our channel or even anyone else who's an affiliate for Proton would be nice since a lot of other VPNs do give those little incentives there for uh, reviewers, but we don't see that with Proton. So this pricing is locked in. So overall, those are my thoughts on pricing. Not too bad, um, just kind of middle ground. Uh, they have reduced prices significantly since the past, and it can be a good deal, especially if you're looking for their bulk packaging and Proton Mail, but it can get pretty pricey once you're considering those things too. Um, so click on the link in the description down below. It should be able to get the best current active going on deal. All right, guys, now if we take a look at the application, this is what it looks like. And I think Proton VPN actually is one of the better looking applications. It also has really cool little widgets here, um, enabling you to turn on the kill switches and stuff like port forwarding, as well as some other things like Secure Core and NetShield, which is their ad blocking. Now, I, I made a video on the channel if you guys are interested with more of a deep dive rundown into how to use every one of these features. So check that here out on the channel if you're interested. But for the purpose of this review, we're going to be just be kind of talking about if it gives you all the features you would want from a competitive VPN. And for the most part, yes, uh, we do like these kill switches and stuff like that, which let you so uh, enable it so you won't leak any internet traffic. If there is some kind of problem with Proton VPN that it disconnects, it will cut the internet as well. So those are things we're looking for for security. The nice thing is Proton also does include split tunneling, which lets you use VPNs for some things and not other things. And we also see um, uh, Fire Stick support with Proton, which is cool. Um, they also have uh, stealth kind of options they've added in recently, a Linux GUI, which is nice, DNS controls, port forwarding, and the application itself is open source, which is pretty cool. That said, they still do need to work on some little things. They don't have any browser extensions yet. I critiqued that around one to two years ago, and since then, nothing. That said, the team has said they're working on it, so that's good. Probably by the end of this year, or maybe even by the time you're watching this, they might have browser extensions out, so at least there's that. Um, they also don't really seem to have any Soxlight proxy support, which can be a little bit annoying for people who want to use Soxlight proxies or dedicated IPs for the convenience factor of having a specific IP you can observe it yourself, but still give some websites that familiarity to that IP to avoid some things like captures. So that could be added too. Um, there are some people against dedicated IPs, but again, more options are always better for VPNs. So take that into consideration. 
Um, lastly, they don't really have any VPN routers or any connections there with any partnerships or pre-flash routers, which could be cool. Imagine having a Proton VPN router. I could see them doing that one day, so we'll have to wait for that. And we don't see any remote capability like we do with TorGuard or Nord. Being able to remote into a local area connection created by Proton would also be cool. So there is still room for improvement, but overall, I do think it's a solid application. Gets all the fundamentals and looks great while doing so. So pretty good from the team. Next up, we're going to be doing a speed test with Proton. As you can see here on the channel, we always do live speed tests. Now, Proton, I'm not going to really give them any dings here for speed. Um, they've been doing really well lately. We have WireGuard and stuff like that. Um, it's never been like the fastest, fastest VPN for me. I think they do have a lot of people on their servers. As you can see here, it's a 50% load. I think some other VPNs like TorGuard um, don't overload the servers quite as much. And I get a little bit better speeds. But given that, we still see excellent speeds here and 50 plus countries supported. So no major complaints. Just a tiny bit slower than some of my fastest VPNs. But overall, not a huge issue. Next up, guys, we're going to be doing the privacy audit, checking to see how privacy friendly Proton VPN is inside of the back end. You know, how many trackers does it have on an Android application? Well, zero. There are some applications, notably stuff like I think Azure VPN and OVPN have a little bit lower permission counts, which is nice. However, Proton has no trackers in its application, which means it's not collecting any data on you in terms of stuff like that. Some other VPNs collect stuff like your VPN state and stuff like that. And they say it's for, you know, making sure the VPN operates fine, but you don't really need that stuff. Additionally, on the website, you see no trackers, no cookies, no Google Analytics, open source analytics. So overall, Proton is very private. It gets a perfect score in the privacy section, and that's one of the strongest things about it. Um, it also has an external null log audit combined with that open source capability means it's extremely transparent. And that's one of the things I do like about Proton. Um, they also don't collect any logs and there's been no history of data leaks or anything like that. So overall, extremely private VPN. Um, that said, we could go into our next category as well. Now, there is a little bit of ding here for Proton, but not a huge one. Basically, the way I score customer support is if a team could respond within one hour, they get five points. If they respond within 24 hours, they get another five points. And I actually created this kind of breakdown of scores to be more fair to VPNs like Proton um, because not everyone wants to or needs a response within one hour. So I did kind of give them a little bit of um, leeway there um, as well as some other VPNs too. Um, so to be make it more fair because sometimes you do not need a response so quickly, but it's still a bonus. So Proton will usually respond within 24 hours, but I think due to the team being in the EU, um, sometimes there is a little bit of slower response time compared to some other VPNs out there or maybe just a smaller response team. They usually don't respond to tickets within one hour, but still pretty good customer support overall. I'm also going to give them five points for the review process and they can handle criticism. I've had a little bit of issues with the team in the past, but those seem to be resolved and they do seem to be letting me do my own thing um, and review them, um, giving them criticism and hopefully them responding well to that criticism in the future. Lastly, we could talk about streaming and with Proton, we do see pretty good streaming compatibility. It should work with all the major streaming providers, um, letting you unblock Netflix, various regions of Netflix and streaming providers. So it does work pretty well there. Um, overall, no complaints with the unblocking streaming services. I've tested all of them from Netflix, HBO Go, Prime Video, Hulu, and all those here on the channel. All right, guys, let's sum up this review. How do I feel about Proton? Where does it rank in the tier list? Well, Proton is going to be an epic VPN. It's going to be a tier VPN right in the purple category. It gets a round of 51.6, which is an excellent score. Now, Proton VPN does have some room for improvement, you know, and the pricing. I don't know if they're going to change too much, but in the application section, they definitely going to get, could get a couple more points. And additionally, they could expand that customer support a little bit as well, giving them even a higher score. If they even just expanded that customer support to respond a little bit quicker, they'd actually be in S tier. So Proton VPN is an excellent VPN. Um, it does some things really well. If we're looking at it in terms of my top five VPNs, it is a top five VPN. Um, you know, it is the VPN that nails a lot of those, those things that you want on paper, open source, uh, transparent, audited, um, so those are really good things. And if that sounds good to you, check out Proton VPN. I'll be putting my link in the description down below and the comment as well. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, what are the cons like I mentioned in the video? Well, it still does need to finish out some of those compatibility things like the browser extensions. Um, yeah, and uh, the speeds could be a tiny bit quicker, I think, in my opinion. It seems like some of the servers are overloaded and I've seen that issue from some people as well. So that's also something to think about um, when choosing Proton. 
uh, maybe just to test it out see if the speeds are working fine for you overall guys though those are my final thoughts on proton a pretty solid vpn going into 2023 and probably more improvements to come so stick around on the channel to find out when those come and i'll see you again very soon